How's it going, everyone? This is Chris here with Archipelago, and today we're going to be discussing the latest and greatest Lightroom update, version 13. There are some really amazing features here, so stick around to learn more. Let's jump into point color. First thing to note, this feature is included in both the color mixing panel and the masking panel. Essentially, it's very similar to HSL, but much more customizable. By using the dropper tool, we can select a very specific hue and from there manipulate the parameters to help nail the tone we're trying to achieve and blend it with existing colors in the image. And probably my favorite way to utilize this feature is in the masking panel. Gone are the days where our ability to manipulate yellows, oranges, and reds are handicapped by the desire to maintain accurate skin tones. By simply isolating the background, I don't have to worry about my subject losing color accuracy in any capacity. This is especially important for us wedding photographers. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new lens blur panel. Let's go ahead and click apply here. And as you can see almost instantly, I get a nicely compressed out of focus background that actually looks pretty legit. Let me set the amount here. That looks great. Now I can select a specific bokeh effect I'd like. There are five to choose from, circle, bubble, five blade, ring, and cat eye. And be sure to use the boost slider to adjust the intensity of set bokeh balls. From there, we can extend our focal range, AKA plane of focus, to our desire. I find pushing this out a bit can help the effect look a bit more realistic. And be sure to enable visualize depth to give you a very clear picture of what is in and out of focus. Lastly, you can customize the masking panel with either the focus or blur brush. Again, I recommend enabling visualize depth as it makes the soft or hard edges much easier to spot. Now the last thing to mention is the ability to edit and export in HDR. I'll keep this brief as I don't own a monitor that can take advantage of this feature. But simply put, it allows the user to experience increased depth with brighter highlights, deeper shadows, and vivid colors. As always, I hope this video was helpful and informative. Be sure to comment if you have any questions, leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Cheers, everyone.